Experts say this is concerning. NOAA estimates there are less than 13,000 gray whales migrating along the North American Pacific coast. That includes San Diego. Compare that to 2016 when there were 27,000. I would do anything to help you if I could, buddy. Back in January, Dominic Biagini of Gone Whale Watching came across a baby gray whale near Torrey Pine State Beach. It was all alone, a sign Dominic says meant something was wrong. Usually mom is being very low profile, just beneath the surface. And I flew the drone over to it and I looked down and there was no mom. And that would never happen, not with a newborn. While it's unclear what happened to this gray whale's mother, based on a new report released by NOAA, it's possible she was malnourished and didn't survive childbirth. Gray whales usually spend summers in the Arctic, where they eat enough to fuel their 10,000-mile migration south to Baja in the winter. During that migration this year, researchers recorded 47 whale deaths along the U.S. Pacific coast. In Mexico, they also noticed more whale deaths and fewer calves born. When it was time to return north, NOAA says only 85 calves migrated, the lowest number since they started keeping track in 1994. They suspect it's linked to changes in food availability as a result of climate change. We had the big warm water event that was called the blob, where the Arctic warmed up dramatically. There was less sea ice than ever before. When there's no sea ice, the algae that basically forms on the bottom of the sea ice doesn't have a time to develop. The gray whale population has encountered reductions before, but never to this extent. And while historically their numbers have rebounded, for example, after commercial whaling was banned, experts are worried they may not be able to this time. The reason the gray whale population declined is we killed them all. So we just stopped killing them. They had a chance to recover. But this time around, it's a much more macro issue because the problem is their environment is changing at such a rapid pace that many of the whales haven't figured out how to adjust to it yet. As for other types of whales, they feed closer to the water's surface and eat different foods in various places, so they're able to thrive unlike their great counterparts. In 2018, when you would leave the harbor from Mission Bay, you would actually have to like actively try to not run into a gray whale because there was so many out here. And now this past year, it was a lot harder than it's ever been. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.